This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. Denver, Karen Valentine, Walt, the cast of Soap, Henry Winkler, Mr. Ed and Wilbur, Marty J. Wiley, Mark Schmidbauer, and in the center square, Wilbur Neal. All on the new... Tuesday at 6, Wednesday at 10, Thursday at 3. At Darren Pamela Ferdin. Um, oh, no, not another Burgess Meredith show. Um, Welcome to the place your parents didn't understand. The world of 60s and 70s television. Welcome to Vast Wasteland. Welcome home. Wasteland, the video journal of 60s and 70s television. I'm Mark Schmidbar, along with Wilbert Neal and Marty Wiley. Well, before we get into tonight's exciting subject, which, as you probably guessed, was school shows, um, just want to tell you we're on Tuesdays at 6, Wednesdays at 10, and Thursdays... Wednesdays? Wednesdays! Wednesdays! Whenever day! Wednesdays! Oh, Tay! Wednesdays 3! On ATTV, table 21. Wind day oh, you're going to get a letter on that, Mark. <laughs> and uh, also, if you want to write to us, <laughs> to complain about that stuff just like that. Complain Wind about days. Mark. <laughs> Wind days fooling around on the set. <laughs> <laughs> right into box 151411, Columbus, Ohio, 43215. You well, know, I actually don't have the letter because it got lost in my bag or something. Yeah. But... A person wrote me this note and it wanted to know, could we answer the question? You got it? Oh, the letter. Oh, the letter. Yay. Got lost in the bag. Good. Now you won't pick my bag. GW uh, mail bag. Dear Vast <laughs> Wasteland, I'm too cheap to mail this, so I'll hand deliver it. He, he is cheap, believe me. <laughs> what can you tell me about shows that have unchanging clothes, which kind of fits into tonight's, too? Uh, you know, he means like Gilligan's Island or whatnot. Oh, okay. You know, why did some people just always wear the same clothes? It's from our artist fan, R4. Because the, <laughs> the shows were cheap. That's why I, I basically, basically say they said, hey, we don't need to have a budget for this. And also, it's a lot easier to uh, to edit the shows together. I mean, you could you could technically shoot uh, scenes from various episodes all together and then just edit it however you wanted. 
Yeah, the only the only people that really changed clothes on there were um, the Howells and Ginger anyway. And that didn't happen that often. Either. And because that's just because they 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 traveled with um, sixty to seventy bags of luggage. You know, for a three, a three hour, hour tour. tour. Three hour tour. Exactly. There was no room for anybody else to bring any clothes. So you've got a uh, Gilligan, and he's out there beating his red shirt with a rock. You know, on at the. They didn't at share the, very nice, did they? On the beach there and. That poor hat of his, my gosh, I'm surprised it survived. And, oh, yeah. and why did they never change Dennis the Menace's clothes is another thing he brings up. Well, well Dennis did go well, from bib overalls to the little boy Well, long Dennis pants. was creating so much trouble, it was probably such a huge financial strain on the Mitchells, you know. <laughs> you know he can't afford more than one pair of clothes for this kid. You notice the only, the only toy he really had was that slingshot he carried around in his pocket. <laughs> He had a drum, but Mr. Wilson kept like giving him five bucks for it. Oh, yeah. Which was real stupid because he just could buy another drum. Yeah. Yeah, that or candy for him and Joey or something. And, and special to Bone to R four who watches so much Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of Star Trek <laughs> Before we get Not. Into, yeah, before we get into the show, now for Segway King. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm And we didn't King. rehearse it either. That's right, darn it. Well, first off, let me say that uh, by the time you see this, this may well be old news, especially if you're big into Trek. But if uh, if you're not, or for whatever reason, here's the big news. There's going to be a third Trek series. Say no! That's right, <laughs> darn it. A third Trek series, and it's going to start next January. Uh, Is this it's like Trek Drive? I mean, we've got Trek. Yeah. We've got Trek Light. Is this like Trek, Trek Classic. Dry? Trek Classic. <laughs> Trek Classic. <laughs> Trek Light. Trek Dry. Exactly. Well, here's the deal. With a twist. Yeah. <laughs> next next uh, January, a new series called, let me make sure I get this right, <laughs> Star Trek Deep Space Nine. It's going to be a series based on a space station, not on a ship at all. And it's going to be during the same timeline as Next Generation, which means we're going to see people from Next Generation wandering in on the show and, you know, wandering onto the station and probably having, like, crossover shows a la Six Million Dollar Man Bionic Woman type things <laughs> where we had a, a storyline that goes back and forth between the shows. So you'll be, so be looking forward to that. And uh, basically it says here, uh, da -da 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 -da, where does it say here? Uh, follows the adventures of a new team of Starfleet officers who take command of a remote alien space station situated near a newly discovered wormhole, a shortcut through space that has become one of the most strategic locations in the galaxy. And we don't know whether uh, Channel 28 is, is going to carry it, although I'm betting they will, since, oh, they, yeah. since they got both Trek and Next Generation. Uh, also, well, I was going to say for those of you with cable, for, the, for those of you without cable, you can't see this show. So, <laughs> uh, uh, for those who have Channel 43, uh, they've already stated, I believe, that they're going to carry this new uh, Deep Space Nine already, and they already carry Next Generation. So, uh, so, one way or another, I'm sure we'll see this. There's also another show called Babylon 5 from Warner Brothers that is virtually the same show, pretty much. But it's not, but it's not Trek, but it is based on a space station. And that show is also going to come out virtually at the same time. Just little, to confuse you. <laughs> the big space battle thing again. You know, space. Yeah. Space is big again, you well, know. They, and they've promised there's not going to be an explosion on one side of it, and they won't go shooting out into space and find a woman who can change uh, change, change shape into animals and stuff. We're not going to see any Space 1999 stuff. At least we hope not. <laughs> so, and, and it won't destroy the whole population of Earth or right. something. Like, uh, <laughs> in the first, it won't be an Irwin Allen epic in other words, so basically. We uh, hope not. And no Gil Gerard, thank goodness. Yeah. So... <laughs> But he's, he's learning. He could he could do it. He's, he's been practicing. Gil can do it. <laughs> no Gil Gerard, no tweaky. No, so. no tweaky. Beady, beady, beady. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, on to our main topic for the evening. School shows. Uh, certainly, this is something that is really cheap to do because you, you bring a lot of uh, young actors in, usually in their, for some reason, we always see actors in their 20s playing teenagers, that seems to be <laughs> something you see a lot. And they're really not, um, uh, usually not well-known people, so you can pay them virtually nothing. <laughs> and it's and not until after the series is on for a while that they get to be known, if they right. do get to be known at all. Exactly. So then you had to pay them more, but by then, oh, they cancel the show. Yeah. <laughs> cancel the show or they graduate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, and the other big thing you see uh, is the concept of 
despite the fact that there's only four years in high school. They and stay it, there. They stay there forever. They don't, they don't really flunk. They just continue on. Case in point, the Archies. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of SAT scores does the Archies get? <laughs> These kids can never get out of high school. <laughs> and let's like... Every 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 year to us is just like oh I don't know maybe a minute or two to them. <laughs> Live in another dimension. What a, <laughs> Whatever. Well, they're cartoons. The cartoons dimension. don't change clothes either. Right. This is true. Yeah. Which is probably why Dennis never really changed his clothes because if he did, why you wouldn't recognize him. <laughs> Anyways, let's let's You'd talk think it was oh, all together. <laughs> let's talk about some uh, specific shows. Okay. Well, I'd... room two twenty two. Well, let, let's go back a little further. Let's, Why? Well, don't <laughs> I like Gil Room 222. Don't be Gillis was out a little long, earlier than that. that yeah, was, it wasn't actually a school show, but they were at school a lot. Yeah, they were at school a lot. They I mean, graduated, a lot of it too. took place at his school, you know, so. There's Dobie Gillis. <laughs> and Patty Duke's dad was the teacher a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, that was before he became Patty Duke's dad. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Because then he had another job William or something. He had another name. <laughs> William Schellard just went, he had dozens of jobs on sitcoms. He, he just must have just like, oh, got another show to do. He's, he's <laughs> off to another studio to do another bit part. <laughs> he probably just had to like walk through the wall. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when he went to work, he was going to another show. Right. <laughs> yeah. Every, Amazing. This man, and, and later he became the uh, president of the Actors Union. <laughs> Believe it or not, he was like president of the Television Actors Union. <laughs> By golly. He, he wasn't just an actor, <laughs> but he was also the president. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, well, so okay. Toby Gillis. So, Toby, yeah. I like this show. It was a fun little show. It started actually. Um, in the, well, 59 when it... Yeah, 59, 63. Carried up to 63, so, you know, it was... And he was, was cool. another one of those actors who was, like, older, but... Right. Played this young guy in high school. But, hey, you don't... And Gilligan then. went to school with him. <laughs> yeah, it was before the three-hour tour. Right. Uh, tour. <laughs> right yeah. before Bruce. the three-hour tour, he was, he was a he had Nick. a different name. <laughs> yeah, he changed his name. Yeah. From Maynard to Gilligan. Gilligan. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, Maynard just... I mean, if you can get out on a boat... Sounds like something you'd step in. Yeah. <laughs> get out on a boat named Maynard. See, that doesn't work. Your name Maynard, is Maynard, little buddy! <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> Maynard! It just doesn't ring like Gilligan! <laughs> Whatever. Like, Maynard, would you come over? <laughs> Maynard. Yes, he would have sounded more like the Howell's yeah. son. And Maynard. Warren Beatty was the rich kid in the, in yeah. the school. And, and Choose D. Weld was on there for a while. So there was, like, a lot of famous people in the school when they were in school. <laughs> but it wasn't actually a true true business school show. And and Thalia Manager. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was Zelda that did that. That's true. That that was Zelda. For Pinkwitty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm okay for me. <laughs> Didn't we hear that on the air? I hope not. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway. Yeah. So what but you I was gonna say though you, you said he was older well back then people did look a lot older when they were in high school they're i know you ever look at your parents yearbook i golly like, they're got on suits and yeah. short haircuts hey, and you're old. glasses and, and they're things. So old. <laughs> it's not a compliment to go to your parents and say you look like you did in high school because they looked old in high school <laughs> cat, cat eye glasses yeah. and, it was just wild and let's talk about the amazing chameleon like hair color of doby gillis <laughs> That's Every true. show, it. It, it went, it went really, this like, like platinum blonde, and it went mm -hmm. back to dark. And it pretty much went back and forth. I don't know what the deal. It was could have that. been that it just did that season to season. I mean, it every season, season it would be season a different thing. But the way they show the reruns, it's yeah. like one day you're looking at him. <laughs> ah, he was working in the store, and some bleach fell on his head. Yeah. Yeah, you know, <laughs> oh, bleach head. <laughs> and, and, and of course, this was. A show that really that tried to do the breaking the fourth wall idea. You know, you had nobody would oh, just yeah, would sit down and talk directly to the audience. And we also had the idea of of a father who wasn't particularly supportive of his son. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which you really didn't see in television at that time a lot. At that you know, time, exactly. It was pretty much a you know all the families were you know like the Andersons and the <laughs> okay and Don, Donna Reed that kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that, that was that the was a nuclear family. That was it. Here you had a father who just, my son's an idiot. You know, <laughs> but his basic concept. A true life kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> At okay. least now. So. We don't have to go any farther back. Now let's go up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Now we'll hit room two twenty two. Thank you. <laughs> One of my favorites because I I really fantasized that high school would be just so wonderful like that. You know. Gotcha. Was it? 
hell no. <laughs> I did get to be in room 222 in junior high, though. But, you know, it was like everybody was, like, friends, and everybody, like, cared about you, and you could, like, talk to your teachers and your counselors, and you get to high school and find out, <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> Boy, in my junior high room, 222 was just a little closet. Aww. We were very upset about that. <laughs> There's a little closet at the end of the hall. <laughs> did y'all go look in there for Bernie, the, I, the guy with the big red afro? <laughs> we did look and say, look, it's room 222. Yeah. Look, it's a little closet. <laughs> it's too bad. It was Mr. Smith's room at my junior high. I don't think our high school had one because I don't think that many people could count that high. It was a little closet, but it was also an office. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lady in there typing, 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 but it was just a little closet was she of like a room. like real old and they just locked her in there and didn't tell her when to go home or it nothing? It was very sad. <laughs> That's too bad. I think she was the mother of a friend of mine. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it was just very sad. Anyway, I like that show. It was Karen very nice Valentine show. got started on that one. Yep. yep. Um, Michael uh, one, one of the rare cases of instead of having the uh, the students look older, we had yeah. teachers that didn't look like they should have been teachers. They should have looked like they were still should have been in high school. It was like a first year kind yeah, of. Yeah, that was right. kind of the basic thing there. That she really looked like one of the kids, you know. Yeah. Okay. And Mr. Dixon was like the cool teacher. And yeah. And Michael Constantine was like a crabby old principal guy, yeah. <laughs> which is like the only thing that was the truly in high school principal. when you got there. <laughs> he was the cool, slightly sarcastic principal. He, he, he wanted to be a comedian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's mad that he couldn't be a comedian. <laughs> so um, he's just going to make the high school living hell. <laughs> like that, that show that's on Nickelodeon or whatever now where the... <laughs> Was it the principal or the vice principal yeah. really tries to be a comedian, you yeah. know, and he's always talking about the... Oh, welcome freshmen. Yeah, but he's always talking show. about the freshmen, you know. And really, this was one of the first uses of a uh, of black characters as... People. Non-stereotypes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, it talks in here about the idea that uh, we didn't just have the wasp and soul clothing as was Diane Carroll and Julia, nor are they laughable buffoons such as Jimmy Walker's J.J. and Good Times, or stilted paragons of streetwise virtue such as Link Hayes and the Mod Squad. <laughs> this was a trip, man. <laughs> <laughs> they had a white guy with a great big red afro. <laughs> I loved it. It was neat. <laughs> Never found anybody that looked like that, but heck, <laughs> a guy with his own bozo hair. <laughs> He's done several shows, too, since then. I don't recognize him now. He didn't have hair. <laughs> he's, he's able to change his hair. <laughs> I guess that's the so. whole deal. Of course, that's when everybody had hair back then. Denise Nichols, she was the other teacher? Yeah. Right. Or the guidance counselor? She was... Oh, let me see this. Then you get to high school and find out black, the guidance counselor. The black like guidance it. counselor and romantic interest for Dixon. Yes. <laughs> Of course, then you get to high school and find out there's no such thing as a guidance counselor. There's a coach sitting in there telling you, well, you get out of school, you can get a job, okay? <laughs> this was Walt Whitman High. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I thought those crayons were just, you know, Whitman crayons just because. You know, the Walt Whitman High. I did. Not. I really did. <laughs> Read your history. And then, hey, well, this was, this was 69 here. Hey, we got a show in... 69, amazingly. <laughs> this started, okay, this is on September 17th of 69. Got a show here that started on September 14th of 69. The Bill Cosby Show. Where That's Bill right. Cosby was Chet, Chet Kincaid. Yeah. And yeah. by golly, the what was he? Bill Cosby, he was a gym teacher. He was a high school phys ed teacher and a coach. Not unlike what Bill went ahead to do right. <laughs> when he got his, his master's in and whatever. <laughs> Going back to Temple University become. Super oh, dad. Dad teacher <laughs> and a coach. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it was you know it was another developing uh, role for Bill Cosby to develop his comedic talents and things. After the I Spy deal left, he was a phys ed teacher and a coach. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because you got to stay in school real, and work real hard to do that. <laughs> and it was it was a fun show. <laughs> Yeah, it really was. It was a fun. It was all right. <laughs> I liked Room 222 better. It was touching. Yeah. It was moving. It was like a warmity. <laughs> yeah, really. Room 222 was. was 222 was really the first warmity for well, a lot of Well, that and Eddie's father were kind of yeah. like. Pretty much, pretty much in. Were, yeah. We can Eddie's be funny, father. But, anyway, no. but we can be. But I don't know. I just. It was like, oh, that's what high school will be. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. It'll be so wonderful. All these caring grown-ups and friends. And not. <laughs> it was cool. Another school show after that. Katir. Yeah, Mr. Katir. Mr. Katir. Welcome back, Katir. 
pretty much spawned an industry. <laughs> True. <laughs> Yeah, really I wonder did. if we acted so stupid in school because, <laughs> because <laughs> these guys were cool. <laughs> you're role models. <laughs> <laughs> the sweat hog. Now this is the classic example of a show that, uh, I mean, they never said the kids like flunked at any point because Cotter always got them through, and yet they, they never were got out of Cotter's class. <laughs> they, were, they were in high school for like eight years. <laughs> well, they were. They never got out of Cotter's class. <laughs> it was like it seemed like eight years at least. I was like, "Why do these kids gonna graduate?" Well, when well, John Travolta gets in the movie, they were remedial academics. <laughs> yeah, they were remedial. Or they started sixth grade. What's the deal? <laughs> okay, so they were the squad. <laughs> so they were, no, they were really the squad. They were more like what we called the animals at our school. The guys that worked that 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 went to school half the day and then went to some menial job at the end so, they, so they could get through high school, basically. Well, that's how they got their name, the Sweat Hogs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, which gave John Travolta his start. Of course, I had known who Gabe Kaplan was because he'd been a stand-up right. comedian. Yeah. Gee, does this sound like another show yeah. on the opposite end? Mm. That came back in the 80s with yeah. a stand-up comedian? <laughs> oh, no. And wasn't it like John Travolta's first shot? Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and then by golly, oh, he's in a movie later. I wonder oh. if he watches those now and go, oh, my God. <laughs> I, I think he could pretty much watch anything he's ever done and go, oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> Just recently saw that boy in the plastic bubble. <laughs> that was on the other <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what an actor. Boy, This why this guy isn't getting Oscars now is absolutely beyond me. What a range. I've, I've often noticed that every time um, John Travolta did a movie, by golly, I dance craze came because of it. <laughs> <laughs> or riding them bulls. Uh, who, was the, who was the guy that played Freddie Boom Boom Washington? Oh, that's Lawrence Hilton Jacobs. Which you see a lot. Yeah. Who now plays, like, like uh, supporting parts on cop shows. Yeah, like a lot of... <laughs> Um, He's like the responsible cop all of a sudden. And this guy, too, shows up on cop shows. Right. I can't remember his name. Juan Epstein. Juan the Epstein. Puerto Rican Jew. Juan Luis Pedro Felipe Robert de Huevos Hedges. Epstein. Robert Hedges. Hedges. Hedges? Hedges? Or Hedges, I don't it know. It looks like Hedges. <laughs> well, he shows Hedges. up on Robert Hedges. Shows. <laughs> he shows up on cop shows. Yeah. Because he's cut his hair. Everybody cut their hair. I'm so And what sad. the heck happened to Ron Palillo? Oh, he Arnold was Orchard. in a Jason movie. In. Yeah, he was in, he he's was a in ghost. He was Jason a 5, I think it was. <laughs> he, he was in a Jason movie, and, and that's kind of like the last I saw of him. Yeah, he looked but good. I did see him on Geraldo not too long ago. Oh, was, was he on there about the about the, the where about are the, they now the kind of thing? Kid. It's like, w where are the people from Room 222 now? Well, I know one of them's dead at least. But the others, I don't really care. Valentine, she, she's still alive. But <laughs> what does she do now? Not much. But it's like Hollywood uh, Square. <laughs> and and um, what's her name? Um, she she was Hotsy Totsy on the show. Yeah, Deborah Lee Scott. Deborah yeah. Lee Scott was like one of the few girl sweat hogs. Yeah. Right. And I'm, I'm gonna hide in this book because that's what I used to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait. Yeah, wait. but those aren't the kind of books you hid behind in school. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Well, cleverly disguised. <laughs> They'll Sweat never hogs. know. <laughs> but sweat hogs didn't read books. That's, That's right. You don't have to worry about and that. And so I always wondered, Cotter was a sweat hog yeah. when he was in school. How did he get so, How did he get so get smart? College? That's right. <laughs> and become the teacher of the sweat hogs. Yeah, he went out and he did that stand-up comic thing when he was in college, <laughs> and he, he just learned the world. What a, The fascinating thing about this show is that this, this is one of the shows where they said, you know, we're kind of we've kind of beaten the whole concept into the ground, and at that point, uh, Kaplan wanted like a million dollars an episode or some some hideously some huge hey, amount of money, not? and they went no, go away, and they basically Mrs. Cotter became yeah, like she like, like substituted she forever. became the lead in the show. She was just kind of like her and the twins. Yeah, <laughs> which is kind of like stand around. Well, he's out of town, you know, for a season or so. He was out of town. <laughs> Marcia mm -hmm. Strassman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She shows up a lot of on a lot of stuff. And they went to James Buchanan High. <laughs> you always have to go to a high school named after someone famous. It's a law. I yeah, didn't. I, I guess. I guess I didn't know we go to high school then, did I? And it wasn't at all like on room 222. <laughs> I went to a high school named after a vacuum cleaner, so. <laughs> Hoover? Hoover? Yeah. I was going to say Dust Bus. No, no. <laughs> Dirt Dust Devil High? <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi, we're the Dirt Devil. <laughs> oh, <that's>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> gonna oh, do a, the uh, cheers were horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. We're going to do a <laughs> vacuum cleaner <laughs> out the middle of it. <laughs> well, people running into each other are out there just rolling up people, you know. And, well, anyway, be you're going to be a piece of dust, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that dirt devil. <laughs> Tasmanian devil is their mascot, you know. Yeah, exactly. How many of your cheers had the word suck in them? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've just gone on and on. We're, we're way out here on a tangent now. High school is anything like room 222. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on here to White Shadow. That's right. <coughs> Here's oh, another show about one. a coach. <laughs> oh, by golly. <laughs> Lots of coaches. Yeah, you still have to change clothes a whole lot, and everybody can just wear their sweaty basketball clothes. Exactly. <laughs> white Shadow was neat. That guy that played the White Shadow was Ed Lander's son-in-law. Is he really? Ken Howard? Yeah. Say it ain't so. It's true. Okay, I guess it is He wears so. a toupee, too. He's really bald. <laughs> Now, didn't, no, one of these kids off of this show, what happened here? Was it one of the kids from Room 22, Room 222 went to this show, or one of the kids from Welcome Back? Some, some kid from one show like this went on to another show like this. I don't know. <laughs> and I've You've lost us. What was hey. Lucas Tanner? Was he a school counselor? No, Lucas that's Tanner. Was he a coach? Well, no, let's that's, find out, shall that's we? Another, that's another fine school show, actually. No, another fine one. And it had this kid that looked like an owl on it. <laughs> So, oops, English instructor, a former baseball, huh? former baseball player and sports writer who turns to teaching after an <laughs> auto accident kills his wife and son. Oh, darn. And, of course, he teaches at Harry S. Truman Memorial High School. <laughs> <laughs> and he coached. <laughs> and he coached. <laughs> mm, See, that, that sounds happen. a lot like my high school. Oh. With the famous, Jesus. with, of course, David Hartman before uh, good for GMA, Good Morning America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I, what I remember about White Shadow, though, I hardly remember the show, but I do remember the satire that SNL did. The Black Shadow, <laughs> which was a whole, which was, which was a white team of basketball players with a black coach, and the idea was, they, the the opening uh, logo was, he gets in trouble, they bail him out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Incredibly stereotypical. Actually, a lot like the, the show White Shadow, white shadow was. Huh? The the one okay in the White Shadow, the one real big basketball player, Coolidge. Wound up on St. L Square. Okay, there you go. Okay, there there was the tie-in. Thank you very much. I. By golly, I missed it. Okay. Well, I do want to mention Square Pegs, even well, though it's a, little, up real fast. a little further than our point there. Square Pegs was, it was a real good like show. A, it was a good show. It was a real good show. There was another one that came out around that time. And um, by golly, who cares what it was? <laughs> teachers did something. It was teachers. <laughs> it was teachers only. That's what it was. I never watched Didn't it. Didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, gee. I guess we got to say goodbye. That's right. We'll we be gotta... back. <laughs> now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> So next time, we're going to be talking about Mary Tyler Moore shows. Not not just her show, but the whole Mary oh, Tyler Moore universe. universe. MTM Universe. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're... Oh, and look, there's an address. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to complain about the show, here it is. <laughs> if you want to complain right. and say, you didn't mention Paper Chase. Chase. Hey, hey, there hey, you go. Hey, hey. <laughs> Paper chase? You want a paper chase? There, there. there. Paper. Chase it. Chase yeah. it. <laughs> so for all of us at Vast Wasteland, we'll see you next time. Good on, everybody. <laughs>